Good. I guess you could say that a little bit. You know, um, Coach was telling us today that all the pressure is on the other teams right now. We know that we're going to get an NCAA tournament bid at this point. Um, so we don't need to do much in the conference tournament, although we want to. We want to go out there and win games, and, and that's our goal is to win conference <clears throat> tournament championship. Um, but these other teams are fighting for their life. Some of these other teams are trying to get into the tournament still. Um, you know, so not too much pressure on us at this point. You know, we want to try to play as relaxed as we can and go out and work hard and hopefully, you know, be able to win this thing. When you guys check into a hotel to start a conference tournament and then the next tournament and the next tournament, does the light kind of go on and, and it, it feels like you can limit some of the outside, outside distractions? <coughs> Um, yeah, a little bit. I think so, just because we're all there together. Um, you know, people don't know necessarily where we're staying, uh, and we, we just go out there. We're secluded in our rooms just with our teammates and have team meals and everything together. So a little more secluded, uh, a little less distraction with, you know, family, friends, or whoever else is out there. Um, so it's a good thing. Do you ever have to take a test in a hotel room? Yes, I've had to. How was that? Uh, it's okay. You know, it's, it just depends. You know, sometimes you're focused, sometimes you're not. But I think it's better than taking the testing center. <laughs> sure. can, you flash, can you flash back to Saturday for a second and compare that to either games or wins you've had in this building before in terms of where that kind of ranked or how you felt about that day? Well, it's just a special moment for myself, Jackson, Logan, just their last game there and having us honored. Um, you know, their packed crowd. I've never seen the Marriott Center. Um, you know, outside like that, you know, how before the game, you know, we went in for a shoot around early and there was already thousands of people lined up outside, you know, waiting for the game. So the atmosphere was, was amazing and, uh, you know, ranks right up there with the top of the top of the list uh, with, with games in there just because of, you know, what it meant to us. Jimmer, what makes Coach Rose so successful in your eyes now that you've kind of been under him for four years? Well, first of all, they do a great job of recruiting, getting guys to come to play for them um, that really fit their style of play. Uh, that's the, the first thing. And then they, they know how to get the best out of their players. You know, they give them freedom to play, and, uh, but he's also a good motivator and, and knows how to get them to play as hard as they possibly can every single, every single day. And uh, if you don't, you're not going to play, and they realize that. So that's why we work so hard and we get in such good shape in off season, you know, to come in and play his style of basketball. Um, so he's just a great guy, a great coach. People love playing for him because he's, he's a he's a very genuine guy, and will tell you like it is. Um, you know, so he's he does a great job here, and I don't see anything changing. The more games you play.